Good morning. Good morning. My name is Archie Tucker the second vice president for marketing communication and advancement here at Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University <clears throat> and this morning I want to welcome each of you out um, for this uh, <clears throat> special event this is the second year that uh, we the Masons have been out invited to homecoming and we've part participated in this wreath laying ceremony so thank you as each of us know um, we're here to celebrate and also to honor our founder, Dr. William Hooper Council. Dr. Council is the founder of Alabama A&M University, but he was also very instrumental uh, in the Masons organization. And so today, this ceremony is to recognize him and to recognize his achievements, not only at Alabama A&M University, but also in this organization of Mason. And so again, thank each of you for coming out today and we'll continue with the rest of our program. Uh, at this time, we'll have Ms. Reba Trammell, who serves as the Director of Development in the area of Marketing Communication and Advancement, to come up and introduce our guest uh, for today. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and pleasure to introduce you to our guest speaker this morning. Born in Leeton, Alabama, Mr. Hawkins graduated in 1990 from Colbert County High School with an advanced curriculum diploma and enrolled at Alabama A&M University, where he later graduated from in 1995 with a Bachelor of Science degree in education. Upon graduation, he began teaching and coaching in the Birmingham public school system. While teaching, Mr. Hawkins worked his way through the Birmingham School of Law and later passed the Alabama State Bar Exam on the first attempt. Mr. Hawkins has had a very successful career as an attorney, during which time he founded the Hawkins Firm and has been admitted by the United States District Court, Northern District of Alabama, Middle District of Alabama, Southern District of Alabama as well. He has also been admitted to the United States Court of Appeals 11th Circuit. Mr. Hawkins was elected to his present position as Most Worshipful Grand Master on July 24, 2013. He is currently the youngest Grand Master in Prince Hall Freemasonry and the second youngest Grand Master ever in the history of the Most Worshipful Prince Hall Grand Lodge F and AM of Alabama. Grand Master Hawkins is the proud father of one son, Corey Hawkins, a third generation Normalite, and one daughter, Autumn Hawkins. He's an active member of First Baptist Church Inslee, a life member of Kappa Alpha Psi Fraternity, the American Bar, Bar Association, the Magic City Bar Association, and the Bar Birmingham Bar Association. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Grandmaster Corey Hawkins. Good morning. Dr. Hugini, brethren, and friends, we must remember the three great requirements of Prince Hall Masons. One, to make Masons. Two, to come to the assistance of our widows and orphans. And three, to bury our dead. However, there is another great care of Prince Hall Masons to honor the lives of those who have gone to that house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. I, like many of other men who are Prince Hall Masons today, and those that have gone on before us, are alumni of Alabama A&M University. What more fitting way to honor a brother and great institution such as Alabama A&M, than to remember and pay homage to our brother, William Hooper Council. I am reminded of the lyrics of this great institution's alma mater, Alabama A&M, rich in heritage divine, blessed by the life of Council Brave, who gave his life that I, or we might shine. O oh, Alma Mater, blessed be thy name. Long live thy fame. Long 
live thy fame. Before undergoing any great and important undertaking, as Prince Hall Masons, we must first invoke the blessings of deity. Brother Chaplain, please lead us in a word of prayer. To thee, O great and supreme one, again we are thankful for a life well lived and for service to our community. We thank you for our Grand Master and for each and every Prince Hall Mason and for this great university, Alabama A&M, and its leadership. We thank you and we pray these blessings in the worthy name of him who made all things and his son. Amen. So mote it be, so mote it be. Thank you. Right Wishful Grand Senior Warden, please give those assembled a summary of the life of Right Wishful Brother William Hooper Council. Brothers, we stand at the grave of our fallen brother, William Hooper Council. Brother Council was born into slavery in Fayetteville, North Carolina on July 12, 1849. His parents were both slaves on the Council Plantation. When he was five, his father escaped to Canada and tried unsuccessfully to obtain freedom for his family. In 1857, Brother Council, his mother, and Brother Chris Rowe were sold into Richmond slave market to a trader who in turn sold them onto a planter in Alabama. His two other brothers were sold separately. When the Union troops occupied Chattanooga, Tennessee during the Civil War, Brother Council and his family escaped through the lines to the north. He returned to Alabama in 1865 to attend a school for free men that had been started by Quakers. He worked and studied for three years before graduating in 1867. For several years, he worked as a teacher in the black public schools in Alabama, while moonlighting as a porter in hotel and restaurants. In 1869, at age 22, he opened Lincoln School in Huntsville for black children in the region. In addition to his teaching, he studied night school and studied chemistry, mathematics, law and Latin. He was admitted to, into the Alabama bar but never practiced law in the state, but accordingly earned the right to be titled Esquire. In 1873, Brother Council would be raised through the subline degree of Master Mason in King Solomon Lodge No. 6 in Montgomery, Alabama. While there, he thrived as a brother. In 1875, the Alabama legislature appointed the 26-year-old counsel to the first principal of the State Color School of Huntsville, which is now known as Alabama A&M University. The school opened in May 1, 1875, with an appropriation of $1,000 in the basement of a Huntsville church. The colored normal school would train black teachers to work in Alabama segregated school system and under his direction. In 1874, Brother Council, along with many others in the Madison County area, chartered the Eden Star Lodge No. 4. It would eventually become Eden Star Lodge No. 6. He held several seats in the lodge, eventually becoming Wishful Master. Later, he also served as Junior Grand Warden in the Prince Hall Grand Lodge. In 1877, Council founded Huntsville Herald which he published and edited it until 1884. The following year, he established the St. John AME Church. In 1887, William Hooper Council attracted wide attention when he failed to file a lawsuit in the Interstate Commercial Commission for being ejected from a first-class coach while traveling in an Alabama railroad. That action later prompted his superiors to relieve him of his duty as president of the state normal school only 
to reappoint him in 1888. Brother Castle will continue his work with a group of blacks to include Booker T. Washington and the past Grand Master, Dr. S. S. Washington, to influence legislators to have black protection in the 1901 Constitution. Their efforts were for naught, as the imp imposition of the Jim Crow was concentrated in the state constitution. On April 9, 1909, following a long illness, William Hooper Castle died in Huntsville at age 61. He was given Masonic burial and was mourned by many throughout the country. Brothers, I give you the life of a proud Prince Hall Mason, the life of Brother William Hooper Council. Thank you, Brother Grant, Senior Warden. We will now proceed with the tribute. In memory of our departed brother, William Hooper Council, we deposit this wreath of flowers as a lasting tribute to his memory and to commemorate his life. The beauty of the petals is emblematical of the eternal life to which he was called. This occasion reminds us that we too shall one day follow those who have gone before us. As the sun sets at the close of the day and signals the approach of night, we likewise must lay down in the darkness of the tomb to await the time we must stand before our Creator and answer for our worldly deeds. Let this wreath of flowers symbolize the remembrance of the virtues of our departed brother who is resting in the silent glory land. It is appointed unto all men once to die, and after death cometh the resurrection. Let this wreath serve as a symbol of our faith in immortal life and ever remind us that our departed brother is only sleeping. For as long as we keep his memory in our hearts, he will live forever. Brothers, assist me in giving our departed past right wishful junior grand warden, William Hooper Council, the public grand honors. This concludes our wreath laying ceremony. At this time, I would like to ask Dr. Hugini if he will please come forward and the members of his staff so that we may make the check presentation. Dr. Hugini, on behalf of the Most Wishful Prince Hall Grand Lodge and the Prince Hall Legacy Foundation, our philanthropic arm, we would like to present you, sir, and this great institution of higher learning, a check for a scholarship in the amount of $5,000. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to call forth our, the 11th president of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University, Dr. Andrew Huguini, Jr., for closing remarks. Good morning. Good morning. To the most worshipful Grand Master Hawkins, jurisdiction of Alabama, other grand officers, brothers of the craft, Sister Eastern Stars, faculty, staff, students, but particularly during this week, the alumni of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. 
on behalf of our Board of Trustees and all of the persons associated with this great university, I want to thank you. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for remembering. And thank you for being a part of the great legacy of Alabama Agricultural and Mechanical University. There is a hymn that we sing frequently that I think appropriately summarizes what you have done here today. That hymn, A Charge to Keep I Have, the second verse being most appropriate, to serve the present age, my calling to fulfill. Oh, may it all thy power engage to do thy master's will. You certainly have done that today. You have done that through remembering the president, former president of this great university, Dr. William Hooper Council. We stand proudly today on his shoulders and on the legacy which he has left for all of us. But he too was a member of the Prince Hall Masons, a great organization that does much to advance humankind. So we thank you for coming and providing this reef to remember him. But more importantly, we thank you for coming to invest in that which he considered most important, and that is the lives of young people. There's nothing more important that we can do in this life than to assure that our future generation are prepared to take on those challenges. Thank you for doing that. This is the second year that you have come. We invite you to return each year to be a part of the homecoming celebration here and continue to invest in the lives. This is what he would want us to do and what better way to remember him. Understand that this gift will go toward the advancement of education. So again, thank you for coming and being a part of this. I would ask now if our most worshipful Grand Master would please return to uh, the podium. We have a few gifts that we'd like to share with you, sir, on behalf of your alma mater, Alabama Agriculture Mechanical University, a fellow employee here at the university, and a fellow Mason, Quentin Pearson. And we have quite a few, so it'll take us a little time to go through them all. Take your time. Yes, sir. This is the first gift. Pass that one along. There's some more. Uh, still more. <laughs> All right. And I think there's one more. You notice they all are either Masonic or Alabama A&M. That's right. That's right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Grand Master. Okay. This concludes our program, and again, thank you for coming today. <laughs>